guys welcome back to Shina's Kitchen with me Shina so today we're going to be making three vegan salads and this is part of my healthy weight loss series if you haven't seen it be sure to check it out the link will be down below so for the three vegan salads I'm going to Kenyanize them so we're going to be making a Gideri salad and then we're going to be making a, a Skumawiki salad which is colored greens and then we're also going to be making a tropical salad or what I like to call a tropical salad but it's basically coleslaw so it's a tropical coleslaw salad so be sure to subscribe to the channel if you aren't already because I have a ton of healthy delicious recipes so to start off with we're going to start with our tropical coleslaw salad and like i mentioned I'm calling it tropical because it's going to have flavors of coconut in it i'm using some raisins in there as well you could use other fruits i'm using apples but you could add whatever fruits you have available dried mangoes would be a good addition so we're going to go ahead and get our white cabbage and just slice the cabbage really really finely as fine as you can slice it and then for the carrots, you're going to go ahead and shred them. A uh, funny thing when I was making this salad, I couldn't find my grater, so I just had to shred them with a knife. But if you have a grater, go ahead and just use the grater. Go ahead and get your apples. Slice them really thin, so you're going to cut them into a julienne cut or like a matte stick cut. You're going to get some lemon juice and sprinkle that onto the apples, so that way they do not turn color once you add them to your coleslaw. So for the raisins, I usually like to add some hot water so that that way the raisins can soak up and they're going to be nice, soft and juicy as opposed to them being dry. So in a bowl, once the raisins have had time to soak up, go ahead and add them into the coleslaw salad. So for the tropical coleslaw salad, I like to go ahead and use some virgin pina colada. So this is my virgin pina colada dressing, so without the alcohol or any rum. So it's basically just coconut and pineapple juice, which I've put into a mason jar, and then I just shake it up. Shake it up as much as you can. <laughs> then add some desiccated coconut, as well as your virgin pina colada dressing. And add your cashew nuts. I like to save some later on for sprinkling on top, so I'm just going to add a few right now. And then get some tongs or a fork and a spoon and then mix everything in together. If you have some fresh herbs, you can also go ahead and sprinkle those in. I had some dania, so I went ahead and added them. So my tropical coleslaw salad, it's honestly one of my fav favorite salads because of the virgin pina colada dressing. It takes the flavor to a whole new level, so you should definitely try it. If you're not a huge fan of coconut, I urge you to just try it. It's going to really knock things out the park. It's amazing. Okay. <laughs> So for our Skumawiki salad, we're going to be using some fresh beetroot, some dried mangoes, some apples, and we're going to mix that all together with a honey mustard vinaigrette. And I know honey is a bit of a topic if you're vegan, but I don't mind, I use honey. So if you don't use honey, then you can use maple syrup. So we're going to go ahead and get started with our Skumawiki. So for the Skumawiki, take off the stalks. You're basically just using the leafy part. So get your skumawiki and roll it up like a cigar. So as thin and tight as you can. Make sure it's quite tight. And then we're going to go ahead and slice it really thin or as thinly as you can. So your skumawiki should look like thin ribbons. That way it will be able to take in the seasoning from the honey mustard vinaigrette. So for the apples, I'm using pink lady apples. You can use green apples if you want or red apples if you want. And then go ahead and slice them really, really thin into a julienne cut. And then sprinkle some lemon juice on them so they do not turn color when you add them to the skumawiki. So for the skumawiki, I like adding a bit of olive oil once I have thinly sliced my skumawiki. And then I like to massage the olive oil inside the skumawiki. This will just tenderize your skumawiki and help it absorb the flavors better. Once you've massaged your skumawiki, add it into a bowl and then layer in the other ingredients. Add your apples 
And then for the dried mangoes, go ahead and cut them into small bite-sized pieces. And the dried mangoes, you can get them at your local supermarket. Just look at the dry section. If you don't have dry mangoes, you could use um, other dry fruits like raisins, dates, apricots, whatever dry fruits you can find. And if you don't have any dry fruits, you can still use fresh mangoes. I'm just using dry mangoes here for the texture, but fresh mangoes are absolutely fine too. Add your dry mangoes. So for the beetroot, uh, make sure it's the last thing you're going to mix in because it's going to stain your hands. So go ahead and peel it. For the beetroot, we're going to go ahead and slice it into a thin cut, a julienne cut, just like we did the apples. So honestly, I'm not a huge fan of beetroot, but I find ways to eat it because of all the staining on the hands and everything. But usually I'll add it into fruits. I just find that it has this earthy flavor. So when you add it with fruits, it kind of tastes okay. Not, not great, but okay. <laughs> So for the honey mustard vinaigrette, be sure to check out my video. I have a video I made a while back, so be kind because it was one of my first videos. So once you've added all the layers in your honey mustard vinaigrette, go ahead and mix in your salad. It's going to look so colorful. Now, if you haven't tried Skuma Wiki salad before, you absolutely should because it's just so tasty. And yes, this is raw Skuma Wiki, and I know Aspenians were not used to it, but I promise you, it's amazing. It tastes really, really good. Mm. And the beetroot. <laughs> So for our third recipe, we're going to be making a gideri salad. Now a gideri salad is more like a Mexican salad if you're not from Kenya. So it basically just has beans and it's got maize in it. And I'm going to be adding some tomato salsa, which is our Kenyan kachumbari. So I'm going to be adding some tomatoes, onions to the mix of the gideri. I'm going to be seasoning my gideri salad with some lemon juice as well as some salt and pepper and I'm going to sprinkle in some dania at the last minute just because we have them in Kenya but you could absolutely use um, parsley if you wanted to or whatever choice of herbs you want to use. So chop your onions and my hands might be a little stained from the beetroot so don't be alarmed. In the same bowl, chop some capsicums. I'm using green capsicums. You could use colored capsicums if you have some. For the tomatoes, take out the seeds and then finely chop them. In a bowl, add your beans. I'm using yellow beans, but you could use Wairimo beans, which is kidney beans or nyayo beans. Whatever beans you fancy, you could use. Add your maize, your boiled maize. So the beans and the maize are already boiled. And then add your chopped vegetables, the onions and the capsicums and tomatoes. Throw in some of your chopped dania. And then season your gideri with some salt and black pepper and some lemon juice. And then once you've combined everything, go ahead and mix everything well. Oh, and the colors look so vibrant. Something else you could add to your gideri salad is uh, avocado if you have some. You could also add other colored capsicums, yellow, red, whatever you have available, cucumbers. So just make the gideri salad your own salad. And if you're not from Kenya, I mentioned this is also what is known as a Mexican salad. So bon appetit! So I really hope you guys enjoyed my three vegan salad recipes, which like I said earlier, I was going to Kenyanize them. And I did our Gideri salad, our tropical coleslaw salad with 
virgin pina colada dressing and of course the skumawiki salad i really hope you guys love them and this is part of my healthy weight loss series that i mentioned in the beginning so make sure you check out the rest of the series the link will be down below or i'll put up the card so remember to check out my healthy weight loss series because in the first episode we made healthy detox water so be sure to check those out because they're really really tasty and scrumptious and it's water so zero calories <laughs> so i hope these salads will inspire you guys to try out a variety of salads in your meal if you haven't because they were really simple and the ingredients you can easily get here in kenya so make sure you leave a comment down below let me know would you try this kumawiki salad what you thought of it would you try the kideri salad i'd love to hear from you guys so give this video a thumbs up and of course subscribe to the channel click the notification button next to it so you get updates every time I post. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!